Hello everybody, I'm back after a bit of a break uh, that I once again took to avoid burnout. Um, but I was doing a lot of research while I was gone. So, um, today we're going to talk about the Dallas Justice Now College Pledge. Um, this letter was apparently sent out to people in an affluent neighborhood in Dallas. <clears throat> Let's give it a read. Dear Miss Bianca Colgan, we are writing to you because we understand you are white and live within the Highland Park Independent School District and thus benefit from enormous privileges taken at the expense of communities of color. You live in the whitest and wealthiest neighborhood in Dallas, whether you know it or not. You earned or inherited your money through oppressing people of color. However, it is also our understanding that you are a Democrat and supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement, which makes you one of our white allies and puts you in a position to help correct these cruel injustices. We need you to step back, uh, step up and back up your words with action and truly sacrifice to make our segregated city more just. Now remember the video that I told you guys to go watch earlier that Stitch made about the definition of ally? If you haven't watched that, I'm gonna you know, suggest that you do so again. But anyway, we are asking you to pledge that your children will not apply or attend any Ivy League school or US News and World Report top 50 school. If you do not have children under 18, then we ask you to pledge to hold your white privileged friends, family, and neighbors with children to this standard. These schools have afforded white families privilege for generations. Having your children attend these schools takes away spaces from students of color who really need the job opportunities, education, and influence that these schools provide. We know that this sounds like a tough commitment to make, but it is truly disheartening to see wealthy white folks sending charitable donations, posting hashtag Black Lives Matter on social media, or putting up yard signs as if to say that minimal effort is all they are prepared to do in the fight for racial justice. The quest for justice requires commitment from our white allies, and we thank you in advance for your anticipated cooperation in making such a commitment. Thank you for helping make our city more just. To sign the pledge, visit um, dallasjustice.org. Sincerely, Dallas Justice Now, because it's all caps. Let's have a look at that website. All right, Dallas Justice Now. The big explosion behind it. I can almost think of like somebody like giving the announcer voice while saying that. Let's give it a try. Dallas Justice Now. An open letter to wealthy white liberals of HPISD from DJN. To our white allies, talk is not enough. Commit yourself towards taking action and making sacrifices to correct centuries of injustice. Open up spaces for black and Latinx communities by refusing to send your kid to Ivy League and US News and World Report top 50 schools and encourage friends, neighbors, and family members to do the same. Imagine if those hundreds of thousands of spots at these institutions were occupied only by marginalized communities. Imagine the opportunities. We can achieve true equity within our lifetime, but only if white folks are willing to sacrifice their privileges. The Jalous Justice Now College Pledge. As a white person with privilege, both from my whiteness and my neighborhood, I recognize the need to make sacrifices for the purpose of correcting hundreds of years of murder, slavery, discrimination, and lack of educational and economic opportunities perpetuated upon by people of color. Or rather, upon people of color. Sorry about that. I understand that access to top schools is a key component in economic and social advancement. Therefore, I commit that my children will not apply to or attend any Ivy League school or U.S. News and World Report Top 50 School, so that position at that school is available for people of color to help correct historical wrongs. If I do not have children under 18, then I will commit to encouraging my white privileged friends, neighbors, and family members with children to sign the pledge and holding them accountable until they do so. Have you been asked to take the pledge? Don't be a racist hypocrite. Sign the pledge today. Sincerely, Dallas Justice Now! Please note, Dallas Justice Now will be publicly announcing the names of those who have and have not signed the pledge. You can take the pledge, give them your personal information. 
Or you can click either I am a racist hypocrite or I agree. <laughs> Once again, we have the, you know, the interesting dualities that are offered to us. This is the like textbook example of a false dichotomy fallacy. Anyway, so we either obey them or we're racist again. And I actually plan to use this pretty soon because I've been asked to do a presentation because they're trying to bring critical race theory and um, the anti-racist curriculums to my school system. Um, and I'm going to just ask everybody on the board of directors or, you know, for the school, would you do this? Are you going to do this? Are you going to not send your kids to Ivy League schools or top 50 schools? You sure? I don't believe you. <laughs> but okay, that's really my plan with it, is just to kind of look at them and say, will you do this? And the funny thing is, is the way that this is listed, you know, especially if it's public in the middle of a meeting, you know, for them to say, no, I don't plan to do that, you know, oh, okay. Well, then according to that, you're a racist hypocrite because you don't agree to do this. Again, this is just another example of how you either obey the people from these movements or you are automatically the blasphemer, the witch, you know, the, the heretic who needs to be burned. And this idea here, this is pretty chilling. Please note Dallas Justice Now will be publicly announcing the names of those who have and have not signed the pledge. This reminds me of something actually I need to dig up the um, links for, and I probably will do that in a different video. But they were going around to these stores, I want to say in Cleveland, and telling the stores that they had to adopt this policy of like how many people they were going to hire and who they were going to do business with in order to be basically in a Black Lives Matter approved store. And then if you were not an approved store, you know, it kind of implied that, you know, when they riot and destroy things that you your business might be in more danger. But anyway, um, I think this whole concept is nonsense, but it really plays back into what Stitch said about what allies are. And like somebody recently, <laughs> in a debate on this topic because there's a Facebook forum that was set up in my local school system for the purposes of discussing this we had to make another one because the actual school one was getting um, censored by one of the few members of the board of directors or rather the board of education that agreed with what was going on um, but anyway you know we had our own and somebody said well I don't need a video to tell me what ally means Merriam-Webster is good enough the problem is is that they're not following Webster's dictionary they can't even follow Webster's Dictionary when it comes to racism. They have to make up their own, like, words with their own agendas. And this is one of those examples. So again, if you happen to know somebody who considers themselves a white ally, challenge them with this. Have them watch this video, or even just read this pledge, and ask them, you gonna do this? Your kid gets a letter that they got accepted to Cornell or Yale or Harvard. You're just gonna tell them, no, son or daughter. We have to do what Dallas Justice Now said to do so that we can undo historical wrongs that took place hundreds of years before you were born. Thanks for listening.